<clears throat> I was gonna stream tonight, but my voice kinda hurts, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, I'll publish another video as a follow-up to a previous video I did called Amy and Bill Discuss How Screwed Humans Are. This is naturally part two, and well, here's the game plan. So we're just gonna keep pumping out more goods, more more Batman, more Batman, more uh, Coca-Cola, Apple, Nike, Verizon, 5G, you name it. We're gonna do everything, okay? Then when the planet becomes uninhabitable from overpopulation and pollution and uh, species die off, uh, then we'll invent magical scrubbing technology. They'll just suck, it'll suck the carbon right out of the air and make it fresh again, just like we started. And right out of the back of airplanes even, just right out the back, you know? And and then thereby, thereby turning down the thermostat of the planet right back to where we were, it's gonna work just like that. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I wanted to go to the new UN report that just came out. The United Nations warning Monday humanity has less than three years to slash greenhouse gas emissions nearly in half in order to prevent the most catastrophic effects of the climate crisis. In this major new report, scientists with the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, find that without immediate and dramatic action, it'll be impossible to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial level. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the report documents a litany of broken climate promises by nations. It is a file of shame, cataloging the empty pledges that put us firmly on track towards an unlivable world. We are on a fast track to climate disaster. Major cities underwater, unprecedented heat waves, terrifying storms, widespread water shortages, the extinction of a million species of plants and animals. And this is not fiction or exaggeration. It is what science tells us will result from our current energy policies. I want to get both of your reactions to this climate report, beginning with Bill McKibben, uh, getting lost, to say the least, in the top news of Russia's war on Ukraine. Uh, but the significance of this and how it directly connects to the war. Well, yeah. I mean, first of all, it's not as if there's something brand new in what they said, but what's new is the tone. I mean, every time the IPCC issues another report, we're further down this road without having done anything. And it was quite interesting, Amy, to listen to the uh, Antonio Guterres, the secretary general. This man is the top diplomat on the planet, so he's used to speaking in diplomatic language. He has abandoned that. He's also the one guy whose you know, political jurisdiction is the whole earth, and he's clearly scared. Uh, he said, among other things, I thought this was maybe the most important, and I think Svetlana will agree because of the amazing work she's been doing on banks. Uh, uh, he said, at this point, it is economically and morally insane to continue new investment in the development of fossil fuels. And yet, uh, last week, we also saw the release of this new report showing that the biggest U.S. banks are doing just that, which is why at Third Act, we've got this pledge to get people to, at year's end, cut up their credit cards from Citi and Chase and Wells Fargo and B of A if they haven't changed. But the that report um, reminds us that fossil fuel is at the root of our problems. It is at the root of the despotisms we see in Russia or in Saudi Arabia or indeed the Koch brothers' efforts to deform our own democracy. And it's also at the root of the biggest existential challenge that we've ever faced. Remember, it was late last month when we watched temperatures in the Antarctic climb to 70 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. That's, that's a horror uh, 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 that connects so deeply with what's going on in the Ukraine, and they both need to scare us to the really core of our beings. Asteroids over 140 meters would release at least a thousand times more energy than the first atomic bomb on impact with Earth. 